Hi everybody, Nick from Genetti Racing here. I am going to show you how to data log using LiveLink uh, from SCT using your SCT XCAL3 General Motors tuner. Um, hopefully you've watched part one of my video and you've already got uh, LiveLink installed on your machine. Everything all set up and ready to go. Um, okay, here we go. Now before I even open LiveLink at this point, I have the SCT tuner connected to my computer using the USB cable supplied by SCT and I have the tuner plugged into the vehicle using the OBD2 port. Um, you have to do the step before you open the LiveLink software. So now that I've got my tuner connected to the car and the computer, I'm going to open up LiveLink. You can see right here LiveLink Live Link 6.3. Uh, program needs my permission to continue. Yes, I'm using Windows Vista by the way. It'll be very similar using Windows XP All right, we've got uh, live link open now um, The first thing we're going to do here is go to commands and go to get vehicle processor ID What this is going to do is basically pull up the ID for this computer. Um, the readout for the ID is the strategy for your machine, your particular computer. This is important because without this ID, um, sometimes SCT software will pull up a generic processor ID. And in that case, some of the parameters are not available for data logging. Um, so we want to make sure that this processor ID we get right here matches later on. And I'll show you what I'm talking about here in a second. So we got 12635863. Now we're going to go over to set up our data logging uh, parameters. To do that, you go over here to commands click configure data log items at this point it's going to check up to the uh, to the car uh, to make sure that everything is working and valid um, it's going to find out which PIDs are available in other words which parameters are available for logging on this particular processor code now remember I said that vehicle I ID processor ID before um, it is the same ID which is what we want it's one two six three five eight six three that is the correct processor ID so we are good to go there uh, if you were to look at your tuner right now it will say PT data log on it live link activated can detected you should see that on your tuner itself if you were to look at it now we're going to go ahead and select our items for data logging. Um, let's go through the list here. Under base EN, there shouldn't be anything that we need uh, here. Um, let's look and see. No. Base TR thing. Diag. Nope. Uh, drive by wire. Yes, there is something we need here. The Excel pedal position one sensor. This is necessary. Under EGR. No. Environment. There is something we need here. Engine coolant temperature, something you must log. Under EVAP, nothing. Exhaust, nothing. Under fuel, there is parameters we need here. Long-term fuel trim bank one. Long-term fuel trim bank two. Short-term fuel, <clears throat> short fuel trim bank one. And short-term fuel trim bank two are all necessary. Under MAF, 
uh, MAF frequency 1250 original is the MAF parameter that we would like to log here. Miscellaneous, we have a couple here. Uh, engine RPM is necessary. RPM, ECU1 RPM. Um, and we also need intake air temperature. That is one that Ted definitely wants to see. If you have um, an automatic car with gears, vehicle speed is one that we will want to see too. Um, let see what we got next here. O2 sensor, nothing. NA, nothing. Misfire, not necessary, nothing here. Spark, we need ignition timing advance for number one cylinder. This is necessary, as well as knock retard is necessary as well. Now, that covers all of our parameters that we need to log. Um, so we've got everything selected. Um, from here, we are now going to click OK. Okay, now, now that we've got all our parameters selected, the first thing you want to do here is go over to File and Save Live Link Configuration. This sir, uh, will save all these parameters so you don't have to go through and select them all again. In this case, I'm just going to call it 2010 Camaro and save it to our desktop. Now at this point, I am going to get ready to start the vehicle. Bear with me here for a moment. I just got to get set up here to uh, start the car. Okay. Alrighty, at this point I just started the car, and now we're going to begin the data logging process. To start data logging, you go over here to this green button, click start data logging. You'll see it initialize the PIDs. Okay, it's now logging the vehicle. You see it over here on the screen. It's logging all those parameters we've got. At this point, you'll then follow the instructions as to how Ted wants you to drive the car for data logging. And uh, he, you can get your logs and um, get them over to Ted so he can correct your tune for you if, if necessary. And if not, then uh, he got it on the first shot, which isn't too uh, uncommon. Alrighty, so to stop your data log, you go over here to the red button. Click Stop Data Logging. At this point, we've stopped our data log. Go over here. File, save data log as, and save your log. In this case, I'm just going to save it to the desktop as 2010 Camaro. Now I've successfully saved this data log, and uh, you would go ahead and send your data logs over to Ted. And at this point, you should have successfully data logged your 2010 Camaro. Hope you all enjoyed and uh, best of luck.